Blaze Bailey is an English singer. He was the lead singer of Wolfsbane from 1984 to 1994. He was also the lead singer of Iron Maiden during Bruce Dickinson's absence from 1994 to 1999. Since then, he has pursued a solo career and has released 10 studio albums. Bailey was born Bailey Alexander Cook in Birmingham on May 29, 1963. His main inspiration to be a singer was when he saw the legendary Ronnie James Dio perform live at Birmingham Odeon on Dio's Holy Diver Tour. At the time, Bailey was working a night job as a hotel porter. He would watch the rehearsals of a sixth-form band who played Sex Pistols covers and some original material. It was the first time Blaze decided he would like to be a singer on stage. Bailey started his musical career as the lead vocalist of Wolfsbane, upon their formation in 1984. The first album, Live Fast, Die Fast, was released in 1989. Prior to this, they had recorded three demos, Wolfsbane, Dance and Dirty and Wasted but Dangerous. This last one was recorded at Square Dance Studios in Derby, England. They were the supporting act for Iron Maiden's UK division of their No Prayer on the Road tour in 1990. Wolfsbane's second release, an EP titled All Hells Breaking Loose Down at Little Kathy Wilson's Place, was released the same year. The band's second full studio album, Downfall the Good Guys, was released in 1991, giving them their only UK chart entry with their single Easy Charting at No. 68. Deaf American dropped Wolfsbane as they felt that the band were not selling well enough. This did not stop the band from being voted as the UK's best unsigned act in 1993. The same year, the band released a live album, Massive Noise Injection, through the Bronze Company label. The band released their third studio album, the self-titled Wolfsbane, in 1994, again on the Bronze Company label. A limited edition of this album included the EP Everything Else. When Bruce Dickinson departed fellow English heavy metal band Iron Maiden in 1993, Bailey was chosen between hundreds of auditions. Wolfsbane disbanded afterwards. In 2007, Wolfsbane reformed for a one-off performance, with Bailey again taking up vocal and frontman duties. They supported the Wild Hearts on a short UK tour in December 2007. Their next tour came in December 2009 supporting the Choir Boys on their A Little Bit of What You Fancy 20th Anniversary Tour. Wolfsbane played a headline show at the Borderline in London on April 9, 2011. This was followed by a tour supporting Saxon in April 2011. A new album followed an EP called Did It For The Money and a successful UK tour in 2011. Bailey was chosen as Bruce Dickinson's replacement after hundreds of auditions. His departure from Wolfsbane led to their disbandment later that year. After a serious motorcycle accident put him out of commission for a year, Bailey was able to record vocals for Maiden's The X Factor, released in 1995. Bailey went on tour with the band in support of the album. Another Iron Maiden album with Bailey on vocals, Virtual Eleven was released in 1998. The two Iron Maiden albums released during Bailey's tenure did not chart as well as the band had hoped. The X Factor peaked at no. 8 on the UK album's chart and Virtual Eleven hit only no. 16, both being the lowest charting Iron Maiden studio album since Killers was released in 1981. Bailey left Iron Maiden in February 1999 after hearing that vocalist Bruce Dickinson was returning to the band. Iron Maiden occasionally performed songs from the two Maiden albums featuring Bailey, including Man on the Edge and Futureal, which he co-wrote, though no Bailey-era songs appeared in the band's set list between 2004 and 2017. In 2018, the band played The Klansman and Sign of the Cross. Likewise, Bailey has performed Iron Maiden songs originally recorded by the Dickinson and Paul Diano-led lineups at some concerts. Solo career The BBB following Bailey's departure from Iron Maiden in 1999, he began a solo career when he formed his own band, Blaze, in March that year. Bailey recruited guitarist Steve Ray, guitarist John Slater, bassist Rob Naylor and drummer Jeff Singer, and signed a deal with German label SPV, releasing the band's debut studio album Silicon Messiah in 2000. The album was followed up by Tenth Dimension in 2002 and the band's first live album in 2003, As Live As It Gets. All those albums had positive reviews. But financial problems and some issues with the record company soon led to changes in the band. After recording the live album, Jeff Singer announced he was leaving. Three months later, Rob Naylor was also leaving. Session drummer Phil Greenhouse and bassist Wayne Banks were hired for the rest of the Tenth Dimension tour until permanent replacements could be found. Guitarist Jason Banks was drafted in for a few gigs at the end of 2003 to cover for John Slater. 
At the end of 2003, Blaze began writing material for their third studio album, Blood and Belief. Phil Greenhouse was replaced on drums by Jason Bold for recording and Dave Knight for touring. The band began to tour for the album shortly after it was released in 2004, but were set back again by the news that John Slater could not perform a large section of the tour. Despite rejoining the band later in the year, Slater eventually left the band in September with Steve Ray to form the band Rise to Addiction. Bassist Wayne Banks and drummer Dave Knight left the band to join the Robin Gibb Band in September 2004. Blaze performed a number of shows in 2004 and 2005 with the lineup of Bailey, guitarist Oliver Palatai, guitarist Luca Princiata, bassist Nick Douglas, and drummer Daniel Lobel. The two guitarists were eventually kept on as full members. The band's lineup shifted once again when Lobel quit to join German power metal band Halloween early in 2005 and when Douglas returned to another German heavy metal band, Doro. The two were replaced by unknown German musicians Daniel Shield and Christian Amann respectively. With the new lineup, Blaze began to work on a fourth studio album for a release in 2007, but in January that year it was announced the entire lineup had to separate from Bailey due to serious financial matters. Following the lineup change, Bailey opted to rename the band under his name, Blaze Bailey. In February 2007, Blaze Bailey Band added guitarist Nicholas Bermudez and Rich Newport, bassist Dave Bermudez, and drummer Rico Bandera and recorded the live DVD album Alive in Poland, released later that year. Bailey announced that Rich Newport had left the band to pursue a career as a guitar teacher later on that year, and Jay Walsh would replace him on stage for the remainder of the tour. Jay was made a full member of the band in November 2007. Bailey also announced the addition of drummer Lawrence Patterson, formerly of British metal bands Chokehold and Shadowkeep at the same time. In July 2008, Blaze Bailey Band released their debut studio album, The Man Who Would Not Die. The album also contained the band's first single, Robot, despite only being available digitally. It is sometimes regarded as a mini-compilation as it includes many bonus tracks. In September Debbie Hatlands, Blaze's wife and manager of the band, died of a stroke after some weeks of recovery. The singer and the band, although distraught by the loss, bravely continue to perform in honor of her love and committed work. The band recorded another DVD Live at Z7, The Night That Will Not Die, which was released in March 2009. Blaze Bailey announced that the band had started recording for their new album on September 28, 2009. A contest was run on the band's forum, the first two people who correctly guessed the title of the new album would receive a free signed copy. The title was revealed to be Promise and Terror a few days later. The second album Promise and Terror was released on February 1, 2010. Professional reviews have generally been very positive about the album. The album was produced by Jason Edwards. On February 6, 2010, BBB started their 2010 world tour in Dudley, UK. They spent the next months playing the UK, France, Italy, Germany before leaving for the South American leg of the tour. They then returned to Europe later in the year. In May 2010, Lawrence Patterson, the drummer for the band left due to unspecified personal and professional reasons. Patterson was also the author of the book At the End of the Day, a biography of the Blaze Bailey Band. Also their manager, Anna, announced her departure from the band. She claimed that the band's idea of where to go next and hers were not in the same direction. Following the departure of Lawrence Patterson the Blaze Bailey Band engaged Italian drummer Claudio Tyrincani to continue the Promise and Terror tour. On July 10, 2010 Blaze Blaley claimed live on stage that his current album was his best-selling as a solo artist shedding some light on the recent changes in his lineup and management. The BBB embarked on a short European tour in early 2011 and were supposed to follow that up in May 2011 with more dates in the UK. But surprisingly, on 29th of March via his official channels, Blaze Bailey stated that he had to part ways with the band due to both health and financial reasons. Later emerged that a great problem has been the fact that the Bermudez brothers were frequently due to be bought flights back home to Colombia to renew their visas. The matter was heavy not only from the financial and bureaucratical point of view, but also musically, the BBB had often to find last-minute substitutes. In the likes of Luke and Chris Appleton from the band Fury UK or Dave Andrews that later will enter in the live band of the singer. On March 31, 2011, Blaze announced that he would continue as a solo performer working with different musicians. Alongside the reunion and new recordings of Wolfsbane, Bailey has played a two-week acoustic solo tour in the UK in September 2011 with fellow Wolfsbane guitarist Jace Edwards plus a few unplugged gigs in Italy with Andrea Neri on guitar. 
Footage of the acoustic shows with Jace Edwards can be seen on the official Blaze Bailey YouTube page. In 2011 Blaze presents the first new song with a renewed lineup, called Black Country. In February 2012 Bailey toured Russia with Paul Diano, starting a partnership between the two ex-Iron Maiden singers who hit the road as Blaze vs. Paul and Double Trouble Tour in 2012 and 2013. The singer hit the stages of some summer festivals and after that has been traveling to the US in October-November 2011 for his first full US headline tour since his days with Iron Maiden. Supported by North American musicians of the Canadian band Man the Destroyer plus American guitarist-slash-producer Rick Plester, of international fame, who will work with Bailey in the future. On December 26, 2011, in a personal Christmas message on his website Blaze announced that his new album The King of Metal would be released on March 8, 2012. On the same day, Blaze officially announced the first two legs of the King of Metal World Tour on the official Blaze Bailey Facebook page. The King of Metal album is recorded between Italy and the Netherlands, mixed by Tony Newton at Steve Harris Home Studio, Rick Plester in the US and Raoul Senkin in the Netherlands. New lineup consists of three Italians and Dutch youngster Thomas Uitsen. A talented classic guitarist who became a cult musician on YouTube for his acoustic arrangements of Iron Maiden's classics. Zwiegsen co-wrote most of the music of the new Bailey's CD. The same lineup recorded the album and backed Blaze Bailey in the King of Metal European tour, which counted more than 60 gigs. The busy schedule of 2012 also saw an acoustic tour with Zwiegsen, some appearances with Czech Band 7, a few gigs with Wolfsbane, a second co-headlining tour with Paul Diano in Eastern Europe. Australia and New Zealand, and the prosecution of the successful Unplugged tour that also touched Brazil and Europe, with Zwiegsen on classical guitar and Dutch violinist and backer. In 2013, the intense acoustic experience became an official release in the catalogue of Bailey, in partnership with Thomas Zwiegsen, he released an EP of classically arranged tunes. Working with Yellow Dog Creative Project Management for the release. The artwork of the album was created by Akira. S. Bailey then hit the US for a special tour with an all-star band named The Foundry, with guitarist Rick Plester bass player John Moyer and Scorpions drummer James Kotak, plus vocalist Sean Austin. Later in the year, Bailey reached Canada for some acoustic gigs and then toured again with Diano in Finland, Russia, and Ukraine. Bailey announced Soundtracks of My Life, a double CD best of, as a tribute to his 30th anniversary as a singer, released November 2013, and followed by an extensive world tour the following year. The album presents also two new tracks, Hatred and Eating Children, written and performed by Blaze Bailey and Rick Plester. For both songs, two promotional video clips were shot. After a first leg of the tour in South America, Bailey presented the new live band for European gigs. They are the musicians of Manchester-based band Absolva, Chris Appleton, Dan Bate, bass, then temporarily replaced by Luke Appleton. Brother of Chris and member world-known act Iced Earth, and then again new Absolva permanent bass player Carl Schramm, and Martin McNee. With the Absolva lineup, Blaze recorded the DVD live in Prague which contains a full show of the soundtracks of My Life European Tour plus bonuses. In Slovakia and Germany, with other musicians, Bailey then celebrated his 20th anniversary of joining Iron Maiden with a small tour with an exclusive set focused on songs of his period in the band with Steve Harris. Then, Bailey hit Canada and US, the latter again under the moniker The Foundry with Plester, Moyer and Twisted Sisters drummer AJ Perro and occasionally Bobby or Zombeck behind the kit. In 2015, he toured South America under the moniker Metal Singers together with vocalists Udo Dierkschneider, Ripper Owens, and Mike Fessera. Bailey in 2016 and March 2016, with new management, Mark Appleton, a new album Infinite Entanglement was released, followed by an extensive European tour with the Absolva lineup. The new album was a concept inspired by sci-fi themes like Blaze's early solo releases Silicon Messiah and Tenth Dimension. Infinite Entanglement was written and recorded by Bailey and the musicians from Absolva, as well as writing contributor Michelle Sierrata. The record also featured backing vocal contributions from Luke Appleton of Iced Earth, Joe Robinson and Mel Adams of Onia and Liz Owen, nylon acoustic guitar from Thomas Sweepson. Violin from Ann Backer, as well as voice actors Bailey himself, Anya Brewer, Rob Toogood, and Michelle Sierrata. The European touring for 2016 was completed by a performance at Husqvarna Rock and Art Festival in Sweden. During 2016, Bailey also toured Latin America and Canada with different musicians, followed by North America with Jeff Tate and Tim Ripper Owens under the band name Trinity, a short-lived collaboration organized by Tate's management. 
In June 2016, Bailey was on stage as guest vocalist with Disturbed at Download Festival in England, performing the Who's Baba O'Reilly. Endure and Survive, the second album in the Infinite Entanglement trilogy, was released in March 2017, co-written between Bailey, Chris Appleton, and Michelle Sierrata. The album continues the sci-fi story and again features the same backing vocal-slash-choir contributions as its predecessor, plus instrumental contributions from Thomas Sweetson on nylon acoustic guitar and and backer on violin. As well as Uli John Roth's keyboard player Corbin Bond who plays accordion. The voice actors also return to help continue the story. The official video for promotional singles of the album, Escape Velocity was filmed at Iron Maiden lead singer Bruce Dickinson's aircraft maintenance business and flight simulator, Cardiff Aviation Limited. The concluding part of the trilogy, The Redemption of William Black, was released in March 2018, co-written predominantly by the Bailey-Appleton partnership. During these years, the touring and recording band is cemented from the ranks of Absolva, Chris Appleton, Martin McNee, Carl Schramm. World tours have accompanied each full metal release. In November 2018, a second classical acoustic album December Wind was released featuring guest guitarist Thomas Sweetson. In March 2019, a double live album and DVD, Live in France, was released, as recorded at the famous Chez Paulette venue near Nancy, France. 2019 marked the 25th anniversary of Blaze Bailey joining Iron Maiden, and to help celebrate this, a series of festival appearances occurred. Featuring a set list selected exclusively from his two studio albums with Iron Maiden, X Factor and Virtual Eleven. For these performances, Luke Appleton of Iced Earth was drafted in as second guitarist. The most prominent of these performances was at Sweden Rock Festival and Rock the Coast. In April 2020, a double live album and DVD, Live in Czech, was released as recorded at the venue Malatka in Brno, Czech Republic. On December 15, 2020, it was announced on Blaze Bailey's website and social media that pre-order had started for Blaze's new studio album War Within Me. This will be the first full-length Blaze Bailey full metal studio album outside the Infinite Entanglement trilogy for almost 10 years. Blaze Bailey has continued to work with the British heavy metal musicians from Absolva. The album was released digitally on April 9, 2021 and soon after the physical version was released. As Blaze, as Blaze Bailey Band, as Blaze Bailey, live albums with Iron Maiden, with Offensive, on February 14, 2007, Bailey married Debbie Hartland, his longtime girlfriend, on the island of Gran Canaria. On July 6, 2008, Hartland suffered a cerebral hemorrhage and was hospitalized. She died on September 27, 2008 after having suffered a stroke two days before. Bailey got engaged on Christmas Day 2010 to his girlfriend Alina. In September 2011, he became father of a daughter called Alice Cook. He and Alina got married in August 2013 but divorced three years later. Thanks for watching.